What's up everyone? Nikon can easily be counted as one of the greatest names in the world of photo imaging technology, digital imaging, and precision optics. The reason why we are talking about Nikon is that we are reviewing one of its cameras that has received a lot of buzz recently, and that camera is the Nikon D7100. In this video, we're going to take a look at a review of the Nikon D7100. If you want more information or updated pricing on the product mentioned here, check out the link in the description below. If you have another product you'd like us to review, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get started. The Nikon D7100 24.1 megapixel DX format. This has an image sensor that is specially designed for the Nikon D7100. It allows the camera to capture the sharpest images possible. All this is thanks to the fact that the sensor does not use an optical low-pass filter, OLPF. The OLPF is also referred to as an anti-aliasing filter. Its main function is to block high-frequency image information, as well as the effects of false colors caused by it. Cameras without this filter are able to capture images with increased sharpness. Moreover, a camera like the Nikon D7100 has a high-resolution sensor and therefore does not need an OLPF to reduce the effect of false colors. The Nikon D7100 will certainly catch your interest if you shoot videos often or you are just interested in shooting moving objects. This camera is able to shoot at a speed of 6 frames per second for up to 100 continuous shots. It is more than enough to capture any rapid movement. A good example where this feature can be utilized is a sports event or even in wildlife photography. By adding the option of wirelessly sharing files, Nikon has made the entire processing of moving files around extremely easy. Since it is easier to transfer the files, the SD card can have free space when needed. This really makes the camera convenient to use as you do not have to worry about wasting time to empty your SD card. Its pros are it has a sturdy build. It has easy handling. It has an autofocus feature. It can perform low-light photography and has great performance overall. However, it has a soft video output and it has slower autofocus. Bottom line is, with this camera, you can share files wirelessly. It is capable of shooting 6 FPS for up to 100 shots continuously. And the camera is equipped with a 24.1 megapixel DX format image sensor. There you have it, our review of the Nikon D7100. If you are considering getting one, check out the link in the description below for detailed information and the latest pricing. If you thought this video was helpful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. If you didn't, let me know why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.